Good day, everybody. I'm Andy Bryce with Gridiron Football. I'm joined here with one of my good friends, old friends, Ross Ackpin, new head coach at J.S. Clark High School in Opelousas, Louisiana. Coach, what's it like getting that head coaching job? Uh, it's fantastic. A blessing. A blessing. A gift from God. You know, best situation I could have asked for. You know, I love Opelousas. They've been great. You know, they keep giving me kids like this, I'll be okay, <laughs> you know. It seems like there's a lot of talent in Opelousas, Coach. Yeah. You, got o yeah. you got OCS, you got Opelousas, yeah. you got Northwest, now J.S. Clark. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of talent there, Coach. I'll, I'll be honest, you could probably spit and hit a kid that can run and jump in Opelousas, no lie. Um, but talent-rich area, even though it's not, you know, it might not be considered one of the bigger areas in the state. Really, really talent-rich. Um, if you pay attention, just the national recruiting, these class of 25, 26, and 27 kids out in this area, they, they're it, man. They're really, really good. And you know, I'm at a school with, you know, known for basketball state championships, track state championships, and there's football players there. Like, they real deal. Like, they're not coming out and they have no idea what's happening. They're really showing their stuff. So, it's talented out here. Well, Coach, tell me about building this program up. You're the first head coach for J.S. Clark. You've got your, you got, you got a lot ahead of you. Well, yeah. So you got yeah. two years of, of a JV yeah. schedule yeah. Um, before you can start varsity. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the process. How is the community coming together to help help fund it? Because it's expensive. Man, I'm gonna be very honest. Our community, our uh, our school community administration, man, they have done so much. Like there probably hasn't been a thing that I've asked for that I haven't been able to get. And every time I tell them, you know, this is something that can help the kids out, better the kids, I have it. Like not. Let's talk about it. Let's have a meeting. Like, I literally, I get it. Um, so, J.S. Clark and the J.S. Clark family, uh, Miss Tiffany Lewis, and my athletic director, Ross Ricks, they come up big for me every time. I mean, sometimes I tell them stuff right before. I say, hey, I just thought about something. We need XXX, and I get it. Same day. So, when you have that kind of, all the guys out there in the coaching profession know, when you have that kind of backing, man, you can win big time, and we're going to win. Well, Coach, tell us about this young man. I, I, he looks like a tower to me. So, I, Man, I look, I, I, one of the first guys I saw when I got there on, in the interview was Evan Thomas walking in, the, walking in the gym going to basketball practice. And I asked uh, A.D. Ricks, I was like, who is that? And he's like, he's ninth grade, he's a basketball player. He's coming along, you know, da-da-da-da-da. And I'm like, you know, first couple times I asked him about football, he really wasn't feeling me. He wasn't. He wasn't. He's like, ah, right, coach, I, I play basketball. So I have an advantage that some other coaches didn't don't have. I coach Quincy Wiggins. So, you know, I say, let me show you this guy who was a basketball player and didn't decide to play football till his junior year, who's now thriving at LSU. And uh, he even still, he was still kind of, eh. Then he's like, I'm gonna come to practice. So you just come to practice one day, and the lifting and the running, and you can tell he still was like, Coach, you know. Eh. First time he got out there and really started running the drills, he started. He come to me, and said, I kind of like it, Coach. I kind of like it. Now he's the guy. He studies it. You know, he studies tight ends. He works really hard in the weight room. He wants to be that guy. He has, he's understanding of what a tight end does. It's not just the catching part, but the blocking. He's a physical kid. He's, he's even helping him. I'm watching him play summer league basketball, and he's more physical than I saw him when I saw him play in the fall basketball. So he's, he's getting it. I'm really proud of that progress he's made. So, Evan, tell me about yourself. Well, um, like you know, my name is Evan Thomas. Uh, I really i am not an inside kid. I love to be outside. I, like, I go outside, play sports with my friends in the neighborhood all the time. Like, the neighborhood where I'm from, they really helped me to be who I can be too now by, like, I don't know, just always motivating my family. I got a motivating family, motivating coaches. That's all you can really ask for. You could be doing anything else right now. You can be playing video games, doing whatever. Yes, sir. Why are you out here sweating? Why are you out here doing this? Well, I'm trying to be the first student athlete that I just cut the sound of Power 5 Division 1 off. That's my goal. Okay. So, do you, do you love the game? Of course, yes sir. I what love it now. Uh, At first I wasn't really feeling it, but uh, I went to practice like Eggpan said and I just started loving the game. What What do you love about it so far? Well, I love everything about it. The contact, like like you said, I wasn't as touchy with basketball, but as football started going, I started getting more touchy, so it really helped me with my basketball skills too. So I noticed that football can help me, like, help me with my basketball. It can help me on both sides of um, being an athlete, so why not play? So. Tell me about you as a student athlete. Student athlete, so what's that, what's that first word? Student. What kind of student are you in the school? Well, I'm a, I'm always trying my best. Like my teachers, they love me for that. I always try my best no matter what they say. Like they always tell me something, I always listen, I pay attention. But my teachers all love me, like they all my heart. 
you know, I'm gonna ask you that question. Me and him, in our generation, if you if you went to English English class, that English teacher they never liked football players. Am I right? <laughs> My English teacher didn't like me. No, no, because I love you, Blackburn. She didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, what would your English teacher say about you? She'll be probably laughing at the camera right now, not knowing how I'll be doing this. <laughs> so, um, all right, so going forward, going to be your first season playing football, first season at J.S. Clark. What kind of expectations do you have going forward? Well, I'm just trying to achieve my goal to go Power 5 out of J.S. Clark be the first. So this is going to be your first season playing football. This is going to be first season at football at J.S. Clark. What are your expectations? What is your... What do you expect them to get out of this? Well, I just want to get get back in shape because, like, like I said, I'm trying to reach for that goal, pole five. That's all I keep running through my head, pole five. I gotta be the first from my neighborhood, be the first one from my area. Okay. All right. So, the power five. You know what it takes to get the power five? Yes, sir. What's it take? It takes effort, hard work. As long as you gotta do it, I feel like you can go anywhere. That it takes more than that, man. Don't turn power five means you gotta be the best of the best. Yes, because only, because like I said earlier, only 10,000 kids nationwide will reside any given year. Yes, There's yes. roughly a million kids across the country. Yes, All sir. right. So in order to go I'm power sorry. five, you've got to be the one percent of the one percent. Yes, sir. What that means is the GPA. Yes, sir. So that means is working. I mean, it's not it, you got You got to be in the gym. Yes, sir. The season never ends for a power five guy. Yes, I've coached a bunch of power five guys. Coach, I tell you. Yeah. So. The season never ends. As soon as that last game is played, you might get that Saturday off. Yes, sir. But then with Sunday, go back Sunday, then you go back Sunday and start lifting again for the next season. Yes, sir. But like I'm a two-sport athlete, so I'm kind of getting used to like the constant work, and it just is paying off. Well, that's what it's, it's going to take. It. It's going to take a lot. Yes, sir. So, get it going forward. What do you expect of Coach Ross? Because he's now your new head football coach. Yes, sir. What the kind of expe expectations do you have? For coach Jack Pan always promised that he was gonna make it the best, so I'm just holding him on that promise. All right. So Ross has put a lot of guys in college. Yes, sir. My advice would be to listen to everything he says. Yes, sir. Do as much as you possibly can, football-wise and baseball and basketball-wise. Baseball. Who <laughs> cares? Who watches baseball these days? <laughs> I'm me. So doing all that—that's what it takes to get to college. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So what is your expectations this year, coach? First season going forward. Compete. We have a saying, we say we never get tired of doing the right thing. That's what we're going to do. Um, I really feel like, you know, J.S. Clark is a leadership academy. Um, we're teaching these young men to become leaders. I feel like if we keep doing that, we're going to win football games along the way. So our goal right now is to raise up these boys into not just men but leaders, and we're going to show W's all the wrong way. We're going to be good. We're going to win. I tell them all the time, it's the biggest thing they hear all the time. The difference between us and everyone else is we expect to win. That's it. Well, guys, come out and watch Coach Ross and the J.S. Clark Bulldogs fight this season. We're going to fight. <laughs> We're going to fight. It's going to be fun. Go dogs. Watch them, watch them this season in Opelousas, Louisiana. I'm Andy Bryce with Good Iron Football. Thanks for watching.